beyond that which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is the middle ground between light and shadow, between science and superstition, and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area which we call the twilight zone. Okay, so this is the third set we're about to undo of the Ernie Ball strings. And you guys know the first two sets of these group threes come with short uh, 45. The 45s were too short. They were more for a um, short scale bass or maybe a medium scale bass, but nowhere is near long enough for a long scale bass. So this is the packaging that the original came in, plastic. And uh, these are just inside, so it's basically kind of like this in, in this bag right here. Now, I called Ernie Ball, and they informed me that these are at least four years old, and they didn't even know they were still out there for sale. So um, there's no quality control numbers to, to even uh, relay back. So I'm opening up this new package, and we'll see what this is. And let's do that. And you guys, as you see, they're the same thing. So what I'm going to do now, um, I haven't even opened these yet. And uh, what I'm going to do is before I open these, I'm going to call Ernie Ball back. I talked to a gentleman there, and uh, he wanted me to call him back when these came. And I'm going to open these up when we're right on the phone. So I'll be right back and let you know how that went. Okay, so I just got off the phone with Eric from Ernie Ball, and I unboxed these fresh pack. What I do with the old pack? The old pack's over here. Okay. Yes, there's the old, one of the olds, second one of the olds. This is the new. So, and I thought this felt kind of heavier. They actually put two 100s in a bag in this one, so there's something... A mess with these and apparently these are supposed to come in a foil packaging and not in this clear so there's something going on there and then when I pulled out the 45 which is here and we'll go back over to the base they did the same thing again this almost fits this time but it doesn't quite make it let me get you here we'll hold it up and this is our problem so I'm gonna go down where this would I'm gonna actually run this through so you guys can see here or get up close We'll pull it tight, and there's where it'd be. As you can see, we made it closer. Now we're on the fretboard here. That's as far as that'll go. So this is all unplayable right here. Let me pull this back through here. Okay, and we'll pull that back up. And so basically, this is where it needs would need to be to be playable. And if we do that, then the string itself is just too short. So um, Ernie Ball. Flip you around here. Ernie Ball was sending me out a two new sets of strings. So props to them. Um, so that's pretty cool to know. Their customer service was outstanding. And uh, that's good to know. But we have a bunch of short little 45s for looks like a short scale kicking around now. Um, hopefully they come in time and we can get this bass strung up in time to finish this uh, Rickenbacker style bass build. And we're going to be adding a pickup and a pickup cover. So hopefully everything works out and coincides in time. Thanks for watching Fulton Street Beats, guys. And if you could, hit that like button, share, subscribe, and I'll be talking to you soon.